ascending aorta to the arch. You've got first branch, which is the brachiocephalic, second branch, which is the left common carotid, and the third branch, which is the left subclavian. It's back there. Okay, the brachiocephalic splits into the right common carotid and the right subclavian. The right subclavian then goes on to form the right axillary, which you can't see, but it'd be down here, and the vertebral, which goes up to the brain. Okay, left common carotid splits into the left internal, which heads towards the brain, and left external, which goes to the face and the scalp. Left, or excuse me, yeah, left subclavian then splits into left vertebral, which goes up to the brain, and left axillary through the underarm. Axillary becomes brachial to the arm. Brachial splits into uh, ulnar medial and radial lateral. Okay, if we go behind, you can see that the aorta becomes the thoracic aorta and then descending aorta down through the abdomen. The very first branch is the celiac trunk. And the celiac trunk towards the right turns into the common hepatic and towards the left turns into the splenic. And then you have this little circle here, okay? This part of the circle is gonna be left gastric. This part of the circle is gonna be right gastric. Okay, next is the superior mesenteric and then the two renals, right renal, left renal, two gonadals, tiny, tiny little guys, right and left. And then the inferior mesenteric actually comes off the side on this model. In your book, it's off the center, but it's off the side on the model. Notice superior and inferior connect. So look for the loop. The one on top is superior, the one on the bottom is inferior. Okay, here are the common iliacs, internal iliacs, external iliacs, femoral, popliteal, anterior tibial, posterior tibial, fibular. Very good.